Hey. <laughs> what is up, y'all? What is up, you guys? What is up, you guys? Hey. Hey. Hey, you guys. I will show y'all her, but y'all, it's it's been a journey with her. She's going to get groomed real soon. It's just, yeah. That's a whole nother story time. Literally a story time. This is an introduction to my weekly vlog. Um, or a weekly month. Whatever it's going to be. But I do know it's going to be a weekly or a monthly um, vlog. Hey guys. Gotta do my hair. Y'all, I'm coming to realize that side parts are cute and all. But adding heat constantly to your hair. No. It's like your hairstyle for a whole month. It's not good. Like, this is probably good for a couple of weeks. And I'm trying to push it by the end of the month because I get my hair done on the 11th of October. My hair is not that type of hair where I can just get up and go even when it's straight. And, you know, I can't do that. Cannot do that. I feel like y'all my Joes, so why can't I talk to you guys about it? I'm, Mother, Nature, Mother Nature came, right? And Mother Nature has not came in a long time. It's been about too much. And you're probably thinking, like, oh, my God, two months? Like, that's not good. That's like, oh, my God, what's going on? Well, if you're if you're new, I've officially been on BC or whatever. If you don't know what BC is, you might be too young. Yeah, I've been on BC, and you either have the option to you have basically having a menstrual cycle is literally in the palm of your hands. You have the option to either have it or not. And what I would do is I would have every single month when I do have my menstrual cycle. I don't know if I told you guys this, but when I do have my menstrual cycle, like I literally go through, I literally go through trenches. <laughs> I literally go through the trenches, okay? Literally go through the trenches. It hurts so bad, so bad to the point that I'm like, why am I a woman? It's like, no. But that's how I be though. Like, literally, like I be in so much pain. So when I heard that from my gynecologist, I say, yes. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yes. I could be able to have it or not, you know what I'm saying? But I was a little cautious because I'm like, as a woman, you know, you should have your menstrual cycle. That's what, that's God given, you know? You should have that. I was like, you know what? Let me just try and see without, you know, having a period. And it's been pretty good. <laughs> but when you have not had your menstrual cycle in a while, it shows in your next menstrual cycle. And right now, currently right now it's showing that I have had not had my menstrual cycle in a while and it's kicking my ass. She's kicking my ass. And usually my menstrual cycle lasts for three days, girl. Girl, Tim wise five days. Five days. This you might as well say this is my regular period. <laughs> This is my old regular period before I had BC. What I'm going to do is I'm going to touch up these little edges. Touch up right here. And call it a day. This is the next morning. This is the day I might. Heavy on the mic because it's hot right now. But I might pull up to the carnival that we have down here in my city. Might. But I do have to go to the carnival to get some food. So. <sighs> I'm not ready for that because it's a little hot. But I wanted to show you guys the things that I bought recently and give you guys a little haul, Amazon haul. And don't mind me, my hair look like a hot mess. Everything a hot mess. The Amazon haul first because this is going to, yeah, I'm going to get into the Amazon haul first. A whole lot of vitamins. And this is dedicated to like women's vitamins. So this is good for somebody that's watching that is a lactate. And it's trying to get, to get into her vitamin journey. First we have here metabolism pills. This is for, it helps for like digestive health and your metabolism basically. So this is something you take on a daily basis. Yeah, take two pills daily with food. As, yeah, so metabolism pills for your digestive health and your basically your stomach. So all that stuff, all your gut health, this is what I got. A woman's probiotic. I got this too as well. Come on, focus. I got this as well. This includes cranberry, iron, folate. Um, oh, I got everything in here. Dang. Okay. We love this. Yeah, we're going to love her. Right here. This is what I really, really wanted. Which is the chlorophyll. Right here. When I tell y'all, I used to drink this when I was in L.A. 
And when I tell y'all, the chlorophyll does wonders, baby. She does wonders, okay? She does wonders. A deodorant, a deodorant but it's for internal. It gets everything out. And it freshes your breath, too. But it also clears your skin. And I'm trying to get back into it, basically. But this is... This does wonders. I'm about to go ahead and put this in the fridge. Because it's the only thing that needs to be in the fridge. So we have one more Amazon bag. Put this... Go ahead and get into it. Last but not least, we have fenugreek. Right here. This is supposed to basically make you smell and taste like maple syrup. So if you're sweating, you're going to smell like maple syrup. And if you're purred down there, it's going to be tasting like syrup. If you know, if you know. Okay. Next, we have, uh, I don't know if I told you guys this, my on my recent purchase thing, I was talking about how um, I got me a, a cookie oil, if you know what I mean, my per. I have another one coming down. I have another one that's coming too as well. This is really fast. I literally bought, I literally ordered this like the day before yesterday. And it came just like that. Shout out to them. Yeah, this came like very fast. Look in the box. She's, she's here. My ladies, get you some of that cookie oil. Get you, get you a cookie oil. And open this up. This is what she looks like. That's what she looks like. Look at that right hand. That's what we're looking like. Look at the focus. Focus, baby. Focus. We love a good uh, autofocus. So you can even soothe, shave, or moisturize the vulva and bikini. Actions pump out or rub on vulva or clitoris in morning and night. You can also rub oil on this area anytime you feel irritated, sore, or dry through the day and after sex. For shaving wet pubic hair, pump out oil, rub it on your pubic hair, shave off hair with oil on it. Use bikini batter the next day to lighten and keep uh, bikini batter. Use bikini batter the next day to lighten and keep area smooth and avoid razor bumps. Product. Looks like right here. Let's see if, if one is taller than the other. They about the same. They got a different top. Look at that. Different top. That smell good. That smell good. This smells good. Yeah. 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 It don't even smell like strawberries. It smell like grapefruit mixed with strawberry, but like, but you gotta get it for yourself. I'm telling you. Get it for yourself. It's $25, but I'm telling you. These oils, it's not like no other. They kind of remind you of like body glaze oil. And you know how body glaze like literally stick to your skin is moisturizing? It's the same thing, but it's just sweet cookie. Sweet cookies. So that is it for right now. I'm going to talk to y'all later once I get ready and um, go out and get me something to eat from the carnival. But until then, I'm going to check with y'all later. So I look like a hot mess and I need to take me a nap. I just want to take me a nap and then. And then I'll go out there but right now I'm gonna take me a nap. It's been a long night. It's been a long day. See y'all later once I get my hair and all that stuff situated. What's up y'all? Get something for my uncle at the carnival. Um I'm really gonna pop out later. So right now what I'm wearing is really not it's really nothing for real. And I hope y'all can see me because everything is like real dark. It looks very dark. But I'm sorry if it is. Because it starts at 11. The parade starts at 11. But if you're like, if you're trying to get something to eat and come out 
It ain't gonna happen around 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock because my uncle wanted something in. But I'm like, where am I gonna park at? <laughs> like, you know, he believes so, so, so technically he could park anywhere, pull up to that thing and get his food, come right on out. He got it like that. Me, I don't. If I had it my way, I would have simply pulled up to that thing, pull up to it, get in, get out. Uh, hopefully, I don't see everybody in my which I probably will. That's an old saying. Like you gonna see everybody in mama that you know. I'm gonna try to record just a little bit. I'm supposed to be going to the fireworks later on at nine o'clock. It starts at nine. See y'all later. It's hot. Why well, having this on? This bucket hat on. My hair ain't really all the way done, you know. That's why I got this bucket hat on. But it does not go with this outfit, honestly. But I was trying to get in, get out, get what he asked for, and I did see somebody that I knew. This is what my uncle got. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all. It is. Can y'all really see for real? It is Italian sausages with green peppers and onions. He asked for two. I ain't gonna show y'all the other ones. It's the same thing. So let's go ahead and get out of here. I'm glad it was easy to find a park for me because sometimes it'd be a little, okay, I'm a little too close. Yeah, it's a lot of people. I mean, it's not like a lot of people as it was a couple of hours ago. When I came through here early to get him something to eat, I said, oh no. I said, oh yeah, no, nah, we good. <laughs> I said, I come back here later, um, Damon. That's my uncle's name, if y'all didn't know. I said, I'll come back here later, Damon, because this is too, too, mm -mm, it's too crowded. So, I say, you know what, later on, like maybe around 5 or 6 o'clock, I'll get him something to eat. And I, can you see, I came came right on in and came right on out. So, I hit y'all. Hey, y'all. I just want to give y'all a little update of what's been going on, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, obviously, I did not go to the carnival because... If I would have went, y'all would have seen the clip or whatever. But the reason why I didn't go is because, first of all, it was about to rain. Two, my my little, my little, yeah, yeah, Ooh. didn't make it in time. So we was just chilling and stuff like that. Next. I'm trying to debate on if I should go this weekend. Anywho, y'all, um, I just want to give you guys an update of what's, to, what's you know, why I pick up the camera or whatever case may be. Hey y'all, it is the next day. Um, guess what shirt I got? I got the quartz bride. It says, Who's this? Who is she? I'm his wife. Victor? Victoria, wait, you don't understand. She's dead. Look. Today's the day that I finally tell y'all she's getting groomed tomorrow. She's officially getting groomed. Um, I'm taking her to the vet. I know they're going to probably have me a run for that money because I know they're going to charge me a lot. But it has to get done. She's matted in certain areas so she needs to be, you know, her. they need to cut all that matted stuff. They need to cut all her hair off basically. I want her to be a low cut. That is my style for her for the rest of her life. It's low cuts. Hairs and all that stuff because we was trying do like a different type of look on her my mom didn't want a low cut i did from the beginning i said it's too much to deal with all the hair and keep brushing it down we want her low cut so she finally gave in and she see like what the matter it's just like it's not gone it's this is not it this is what she looks like looking like a hot mess per usual that's what she looks like hey joes hey joes i wish you guys so so much i got big since you guys last saw me i miss you guys She's still cute with her little hair like this, but you can tell, like, she needs to get cut down. You can tell in certain areas, like, you can tell, like, she needs to get grown. But I know my boobies don't much. I know my boobies don't much. I know my boobies don't much. So, I just want to tell you guys that tomorrow morning at 8 through 8.30, she can pretty much get grown. I'm in the mood to watch some horror films because I need to prepare myself for what I'm about to do next weekend. I got to prepare myself, so I got to really kind of low-key face my fears i'm not into horror stuff i'm not into none of that jazz i'm not into the horror films i just i get so scared i low-key like horror films anyway my favorite horror films i'm gonna watch Coraline. i'm gonna watch 
Corpse Bride. I don't like how this shirt is so big. I don't even look big, y'all. And it's making me look big. I'll talk to y'all later. We about to go watch some movies. Let's go watch some movies. And I need to read my Bible too. I think I might go ahead and do that now. I think I might actually go ahead and do that now. And then watch some movies. Yeah. You ready, Meech? You ready, Meech? You ready, Meech? You ready, Meech? Hey, y'all. It's the next day. Um, we have, my mom and I have took Meechie to her appointment. Uh, it was at 8 o'clock or whatever. And tell me why we have to pick up around 2. It takes that long for you to groom a dog I just hope she's okay but low key I'm like yes you know but at the same time I'm like I hope she's okay cuz they will drop some dogs off and I just hope she's okay and I hope she gonna look fine she might look like this y'all I feel like it might be like this there we go might, this might be a better example it might be like this she might look like that y'all talk to y'all when we get the phone call saying she ready. That's all that matters. Cause a million. <laughs> oh my God! Look at me. Do we do it? I feel so much better. Let me get the little collar. Oh. She won't have it. Oh, it's all right. She's just excited. Oh. My pee pee on you, my pee. Sorry about that. Meaty? 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 I don't know if this is Meaty. Cause <laughs> is this is that really Meaty? Does she recognize her name? Yeah. Oh. I am shook all the way. I still, I still have to adjust the fact that this is my dog. After I turned the camera off, I told him, I said, is this me too for real? <laughs> like, I literally, I literally said, like, is this me too for real? She looks so different. They literally skinned her down to her meat. <laughs> I'm to myself, she look like a stud. <laughs> like, how does she look like a stud? You can see y'all, um, but that's how she look right there at the bottom. You such a good girl. You such a good girl, boo boo. Who got the best high C? Loki Wendy's. Hey y'all. As you can see, here's a little update on my hair. Took the song, took the song went out, bundles out, and now we're just taking out my hair. I've been doing this for about. I think I, I started at around like six. No, I'm, I'm tripping. I started around like 7. And now here it is 9 o'clock. I asked my mom to help me take my um, bundles out because there were certain areas. I was like, yeah, no, I'm not even going. So I got a feeling. I was like, yeah, I'm finna cut my own hair. So I was like, you know what? Since she installed it, I was like, can you take it out for me? Just to speed up this a little bit. Because I'm on real quick when it comes to, like, taking my hair. Like, I'm very slow when it comes to, like, taking braids out. 
Whatever that shit may be, I don't, I'm very slow. I like to take my time. I don't know why, but anyway, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. I'll see y'all in the morning. And yeah. Hey, y'all. I am super duper um, mad at myself because I didn't take the time to blow really blow dry my hair because my hair is super thick. And I know she gonna be killing my shit. And I am so mad. I woke up at 8.30 and my appointment is at 9 o'clock. And my hair don't take that short period of my time to fix my hair. And I'm so... Like... <laughs> I'm so mad. I know she gonna be like, girl, I'm so, so sorry. My oh, left side is, is good because I was really blow dry my left side for the longest time. But my right side, it's like cool to can take. Is going on. Um, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys my eye later on. But I wanted to kind of close out today's video. I wasn't thinking about. I wasn't thinking that I was gonna close out today's video like this. But hey, it is what it is. Life is going life. <laughs> Sometimes things happen. But um, I haven't told you guys this. But while I was filming. You know, throughout my day, um, I had had like eye problems or whatever. Um, there would be times like I had pink eye. It'll just my eyes would be bloodshot, worried, thinking like it's a pink eye, right? But then one night, um, my eyes was hurting. Kind of like it's kind of like this. Get guys a perfect example. It's like having a a bad migraine but it's in your eyeball so this was like middle of the night and I was trying to go to sleep but I would have like pain shots through my eye but you know I ain't thinking nothing of it I'm thinking like I'm thinking like maybe it's just a pink eye I don't know you know but at the same time I'm like mm, if I had a pink eye I, it would have went away by now right so, um, days upon days or whatever, um, I started to have blurry vision. Meaning by blurry vision, meaning that it's like, it's like having fog vision. Like, basically, let's say if I were to wipe this camera, basically like this, it will be like, that's how my vision look, very blurry couldn't really see I couldn't really see on my right eye mind you this is my right eye by the way you probably looking at it and looking like it's my left but it's really my right so blurry vision right long story short um, I decided to go to a, a doctor went to a doctor um, they couldn't really tell me what it was but she said it was something else but she told me she insisted on me getting, you know, basically getting an appointment with an eye doctor because it's not a pink eye, it's just something else. But she gave me an antibiotic, right? As I've been putting the antibiotic on, still have, I'm still having problems, you know what I'm saying? I vision can't really see nothing. And I started to look on Google. And I'm thinking like, 
I might go blind, you know. This is what I'm thinking before, you know what I'm saying. I'm like, I might go blind because my vision is blurry. It was like in the corner of my eye at first. So, long story short, um, yesterday, I wish I would have had a cameraman. Because seeing all that, you would be like, girl, I am so, so sorry. For your age, too, like, and what I just went through yesterday was for, old, like, an elder person and what I'm diagnosed with. Usually people my age don't get this. But, anywho, yesterday morning, um, had eye pain. Usually when I'm out taking Michi to go potty, I can't be in the sun for a long time because the sun hurts my eyes. So, I took it out, eyes hurting, doing this the whole time. Went back in, and my mom and I decided to watch a movie. So, I'm laying down, and I'm trying to watch the TV, but I can't at the same time, because I'm like, it's too bright. Then my mom was like, get a, ho get a hot compressor, like, get, get a, like a warm cloth, right? I get a warm cloth. And it was something about the warm cloth laying on my eye just went berserk. Like my eye pain was like, ha! Pew! So, put the hot compress on my eye and I took it off and my eye just went to town. My eye pain was just going in. And I'm just sitting here like, what? As my eye pain is hurting, my vision is getting blurrier to the point that I can't see nothing. I'm sitting here like, I can't, I'm like, am I turning blind or like, am I, I can't see. So I ended up going to the ER, went to the ER, uh, blood work, drawn, whatever, and I testing, gave me medicine. He tested my eye. Y'all, guess what he said? He said, if you had not went here, you for sure would have been blind. That made my heart sink. He was like, your eye, your eye pressure is so dangerous right now that if you had not went here, you would have been for sure blind. And I'm just sitting there like, I'm just sitting there like, I'm so glad that I did. So glad that I did went. And this came out of nowhere. I can't tell y'all oh, how did this happen. I can't. We still trying to figure out to this day that you're watching this, like how this came all of a sudden. Because from my age, it's like. But then what you know so and I'm trying not to cry because it makes it a little bit worse so I'm trying not to like you know get emo so because this was a like very it, it was a very emotional day yesterday very emotional my eyes my eye pain was hurting so bad I said I'm willing because I don't like you know I don't like shots or whatever but I was willing to get a shot. I was willing to do whatever it took to get this eye pain away. And they gave me some medicine. So thankful. Gave me some eye drops. And they tested my eye. Eye pressure was, like I said, 80. 80 is not good. Your normal eye pressure should be at 20. Like your regular eye that you're watching me on, your, pro your eye is probably at 20. Mine is at 80. Imagine the difference. <laughs> That's way high. That's too high. Too high. So I'm sitting there like going through the motions. And you know you can only imagine when your eye is already hurting. A lot of pressure. And they keep digging in your eye about some stuff. And which I understand. Because I want you to get. I want you to figure it out myself. But I was already in pain as it is. So my eyes just get digging in. Digging in. Digging in. And it's making it even more irritated. Um. Long story short, um, he was like, I hope you don't have um, glaucoma. And glaucoma is basically, you can lose your vision. 
and um, he was like, but I want you to go to an eye exam. I want you to go to an eye doctor so you can really, so we can really see what this is. And um, he was going to discharge me at first, but he was like, no, I need you to figure out what this is because this is nothing to play with. So I went to the eye exam or what I went to the, you know, whatever he sent me. I went there yesterday. And um, when I tell you, my eyes was, and then I was weak. I was weak too, very weak. But being the sun, being a car, all the brightness was really affecting me a lot. So get there or whatever. And long story short, they sent me in and the doctor came in and he tested me and whoo! He tested my eye like no other. He digging in my eye even more. Just digging in my eye, digging in my eye, digging in my eye. And when I tell you, after he digged my eye, my eyes were so low. I was just so out of it. I was sitting there in the chair like, like this the whole time. Like, because my eye has been digged so much and my eyes just hurt. Mind you, I haven't had medicine since the ER, so it kind of wore off a little bit. So, as he talking to me, but I'm so glad my mom was there, but he was talking to my mom majority of, majority of the time. Because I just couldn't, I wasn't, I wasn't there at all. Wasn't present at all. But, long story short, um, I do have glaucoma. Um, usually this happens for elderly people. And, um, good thing is it's treatable. You know, um, good thing that... I did go to the ER just in time for it to be treatable. If I didn't, um, there was no going back from blind, you know, obviously, you know. When you're blind, you're just blind. But uh, I would have been looking like Fetty Wap. I'm not trying to be funny, but I probably would have been looking like Fetty Wap. Would have been on some 1738 for sure. Um, and what made me really, like, I don't know. It just I just really feel like God spared me. He saved me just in time. Like he spared my life again because if I would have went blind, I probably would have done none of this. I probably couldn't do none of this at all. And it's just it it was a very scary yesterday and very like whoa and the emotions were high up and down and it just came out of nowhere, you know. I've it's been happening for the past couple of weeks, and and I just this has made me cl even more closer to God more than ever because I feel I really do feel like God spared me for sure. He really looked out for me, he really did, because I was very hesitant at first because I I had to go to work. So I was like, you know, no, I'm gonna wait till after. But something was like, no, you need to go. This is your, this is your eye we're talking about. It's not no like your body, your foot, your leg, <laughs> your headache, your head. You know what I'm saying? This is your eye. I feel like the most important thing now that I'm looking at it now is your eyes. Eyes are the most precious thing and the most important thing, of course, in your um, your heart as well. But your eyes is connected to your brain and I was having nerve damage in my brain so it ended up backing up the fluid to my eye and that's how come I have glaucoma or whatever um so yeah um I don't want to get too emo keep talking about it cause the more I talk about it the more I'm you know but yeah this is what's been going on I have to do I have to come back to them today because it just happened yesterday. They want me to um, give them an update on my eye. Of how it's been going. And how's the eye pressure. So. It's just. What a. What a. What a day. These past 48 hours. You know. My biggest thing for me was last night. That I was going to wake up blind. That's what I was very concerned. I was so scared to go to sleep y'all. So scared, so scared, and I had my mom, my grandma pray over my eyes. I ain't try to cry. I ain't try to cry. 
two or three that gather, gather in the mix. There's God. I ain't trying to cry. I'm just so thankful because I couldn't. I wouldn't have seen. I couldn't. You know, I would have been blind. And I know my life would have totally changed. So. It just me thinking about stuff like that. Like, wow. God has really spared me. I'm so glad I listened to my intuition instead of my mind. And that's the difference between your gut and your mind. Your mind could be telling you this, but your gut is saying, go. It was like a slight voice saying, go. I'm so glad I listened to it. Because I, I could have listened to my mind and said, no, I'm good. You know, take me some Tylenol. But my eye pressure was on 10, though. I'm thinking, like, maybe the time only kick in, you know. But, anywho, y'all, I just wanted to give you guys an update. I don't know if I'm going to take you guys with me uh, along my eye doctor because, I don't know. I don't know. I might, I might not. Because, you know, how I'm feeling and all that type of stuff. But, they have said that something's in my left eye too, but it's not as bad as my right eye. So I'm looking like a pirate. Arr. <laughs> so, yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys and tell you what's up and what's been going on. And I want to say to y'all, if I do decide to close out this video, I want to say with this, be grateful, have gratitude. After you close today's video, just say the things that you're grateful for. Grateful for your health, grateful for your body, your legs, your arms, your eyes. Because there are some people out there who don't, who can't walk, who can't see, who can't hear. And I could have been one of those people. I don't want to be one of those people. <sighs> so I just want to say to y'all, like, just be grateful that y'all can see me. And I hate to be all dramatic, but I'm saying it's like sincerely, like, please be grateful that y'all can be able to do things that some people can't do. Try not to cry. Cause it affects my eyes but just be grateful please be grateful have gratitude thank God you know and um yeah gonna close out now if I do decide then I'll see you guys in the next clip if I don't I'll see you guys in the next video and yeah love y'all peace